What is up, YouTube? So this is my first time uploading a uh, gaming video of any kind, uh, but if you know me at all, you know that I'm a huge, huge Pokemon fan. Um, I like to play competitively, and so this is my first time uploading that, and this is me and my little brother Josh. Now, I recorded this quite a while ago, so I may not remember what exactly happens in this battle, but I'm going to do my best to comment, and uh, as you can see, the screen is up there in the top left corner. I need to figure out how to fix that. Regardless, here goes the battle. So I begin with my Frostlass Snow Maiden. Now, uh, my Frostlass uh, is built basically just to set up and um, just to kind of take something out with it uh, as long as it just, it's just it's just there, basically. It's, it's always the thing that I begin with whenever I'm using this team. As you can see, uh, my little brother's uh, Bruce knocked off my Focus Sash and the Curse Body got to him. So it forced a swap there. Uh, I think I was just going to set up some layers of spikes and then just take out one of his Pokemon with him. Um, out comes uh, Politoed here, Bubble, as he names him. And here comes a Drizzle. And I think I went for Destiny Bond at this point. Yes, I did. I was expecting an attack from Bruce. I was going to take him out. I think Bruce became a problem as I continued the battle. Yeah, my brother's uh, Pokemon was built really, really well. So I went for the taunt there, uh, figuring he would... Um, yep, yeah, exactly as I thought. I figured he would use some sort of status condition to take out my Frostlass. So I end up going for Destiny Bond, because I know he's going to attack. There's nothing else he could do but attack. Yeah, there it is. Here, out comes the Scald, and Snow Maiden gets knocked out, but at the same time, I also... Oh, Curse Body. Ha, oh, forgot about that. But, um... Destiny Bond now takes out the Politoed as well. So the score is currently 5-2-5. Five five. And out comes my lovely for alligator Gator Age. Now uh, Gator Age here is a physical sweeping set. Um, life Orb, Sheer Force, and uh, is meant to utilize Dragon Dance in order to make use of that Life Orb, Sheer Force combo. Oh, and out comes Fake Out with a normal gem. Oh, I remember being so mad at my brother with this, using knockoff to knock off my life orb. Alright, so I set up a dragon dance just so I can have some uh, some more attack power. Because uh, at least I'm still getting that sheer force boost. And then out comes high jump kick, and I lose my Feraligator, and I am so upset because that Feraligator is my pride and joy. Well, anyway, here comes my Metagross, Mine Quad. Now, uh, Mine Quad here is built in a somewhat unusual way. Uh, its speed is invested. It's invested in speed and attack and summon HP. And I've given it uh, agility, I believe Ice Punch, Iron Head, and Earthquake, I think? Um, <clears throat> yes, it's, what it's meant to do is to... Uh, is to sweep through the opponent. Now, I knew that my uh, my brother was going to go for Will-O-Wisp because that's what you do with a Dusclops because they're evil. And so he ends up Will-O-Wisping my King Hydra here. Now, King Hydra is a special attacker with an assault vest. So it, it takes that really, really well. Um, and out comes Bruce again. Yep, he wants to get that high jump kick off on my dragon dark type. Smart boy in, in, in that sense. But like at the same time, I had a feeling he would bring that out. So I, I had to get rid of Bruce really quickly. Bruce was a huge threat to my team. Um, it, it just had access to a, a bunch of moves that just could de demolish all my team. So I, I brought out Mind Quad once again. Um, and I had a feeling he would probably swap again once he saw that Mind Quad was trying to set up. It's a, yeah, it's a sweeping, it's a sweeping set accompanied with a uh, weakness policy. Um, you don't see that very often. You usually see either like Mega Metagross or a uh, you know, I, I don't know, Metagross that's not a sweeper, but mine was a sweeper, so I brought him out, and I figured he would bring back his ghost. So, once again, swapped out, swapped back into King Hydra. If he's going for Will-O-Wisp, then I'm going to let King Hydra take it. Oh, and I forgot he went for Pain Split. That came as a shock to me. Well, either way, uh, I depended on King Hydra a lot in this battle, I, a lot in order to... Uh, take out his team because he had a lot of threats. Oh, this is fun. 
this is uh, this is his Altaria. Now, his Altaria is a Mega Altaria, so this initial Dragon Pulse was very, very important. Because once his, his Altaria evolves, then pretty much all of my attacks can't get to it. Um, I believe my uh, King Hydra has... I want to say Flamethrower? Yep, yes. Flamethrower, there it is. Yeah, Flamethrower, Dark Pulse, uh, Dragon Pulse, and Focus Blast, I believe. It was an interesting combination because I was replacing, I wanted to replace Flamethrower over Fire Blast, but I, I chose Longevity over Power. Um, yeah. Oh, here we go. Bianca. Bianca is a, a stereotypical Chinchino set. You know, give it a King's Rock and Skill Link and just give it all the multi-hit moves it can get. <coughs> I think uh, Chinchino here got really, really lucky against his... Uh, Archaeops Dodo. But if I remember correctly, yes, he set up his Dodo so that it can um, <laughs> so that it can get its strength back for Defeatist. And out comes Earthquake. Oh god. Did he take out my Bianca? No, he didn't. And so that's right. I remember now. Yeah, my brother tried to utilize his uh, Dusclops as much as possible in order to just cripple my physical line. Yes, I went to... Uh, I think my, uh, my mindset behind using Bullet Seed as opposed to Rock Blast again uh, was that Bullet Seed has 100% accuracy and I favored the accuracy over, um, over power because I figured I would still be able to take out the Archaeops anyway, but of course, out came Ghost. I think... What happened here now is a grudge match because I didn't want to swap out Bianca because it was already it already took a lot of damage from Archaeops, so I kind of just had to pray for something good to happen. And then I got the flinch, and I was so happy. And then I went for the Bullet Seed again to take out Ghost, and finally that threat was out of my life for this game, and I was just over the moon. So down goes Dustclops. I forget what the score is. I think it's, what, four to five? I could be wrong. Uh, out comes Bruce, and of course he's gonna go for Mock Punch and take out my Bianca. Poor Bianca, you did well. RIP. So, I brought out King Hydra. Now, I know this was a, a kind of a stupid play because I know he's just gonna Mock Punch, he's gonna take out King Hydra, but I, honestly, King Hydra can only do so much against this team because I don't know. I, I, I had a feeling that... Oh, right. Oh yeah, I got so lucky with that high jump kick avoid because then Bruce took itself out. Oh, fly too close to the sun, you burn your wings. So I set up agility so I could get ready to sweep. Because I knew that his Archaeops had already been crippled by its defeatist ability, so I went for Iron Head, and I took out his Archaeops. I think he had one more Pokemon. Yes, he did. Now, his Dragonite Barney here, I believe, was a, uh, a weakness policy multi-scale set, so very stereotypical, very, uh, very powerful as well. I use that set myself. Um, but in a different way, he used it so that he could uh, just... He used it with Earthquake. I think I gave mine a different moveset. But here we go. The final battle. Out comes my Kangaskhan, Mama Khan. I depend on her so much. It's a trend with me. I, I tend to save my Mega for the end. Just because it's always the strongest Pokemon on my team. So I go for Fake Out. And that takes out Barney. And that is game. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Make sure to click like, subscribe, and share along with your friends. See ya.